and if thy brother be waxen poor, and fallen in decay with thee, then thou shalt relieve him, yea, though he be a stranger, or a sojourner, that he may live with thee. Leviticus 25, 35, verse 35. And if thy brother be waxen poor, an Israelite, as Ibn Ezra, be reduced to a lower state, through afflictions in body, or in family, or through losses in trade, or want of business, or through one providence or another, and fallen in decay with thee, in his worldly substance, or his hand wavers, or fails, so that he cannot support himself and his family, has not a sufficiency, or it is not in the power of his hands to do it, and it is not owing to sloth and negligence, but to unavoidable want and necessity. Then thou shalt relieve him, not merely by sympathizing with him, but by communicating to him, and distributing to his necessities, holding him up that he may not utterly fall, and strengthening his hands, that he may have a supply for his present wants. Yea, though he be, a stranger or a sojourner, whether a proselyte of righteousness, who is circumcised, and in all things conforms to the true religion, or a proselyte of the gate, who takes it upon him not to worship idols, and eat things that die of themselves, as Jarki notes, that he may live with thee, continue in the land of Canaan, and not be obliged to quit it, and be laid under temptations of apostatizing from the true religion professed by him, and so far as he is come into it, which would bring a worse death than corporeal upon him, or that he may have a livelihood in some tolerable manner at least, and even live comfortably and cheerfully.